This is a certified hood classic. All right, fine. I left food money in the cabinet above the oven, but that's all you're going to get, so you better make it last. Hey there, Robert. I'd offer to help you with your bag, but you're a coon. What's he doing here? He's your babysitter. Yo. Come on, Granddad. Me and Riley don't need no babysitter. We can take care of ourselves. Yeah, it's not like we're going to try to kill each other. Shut up. Do what Rucker says and don't mess up my house. Come on. You me and like this punk <laughs> fool right here. Okay, first of all, ain't nobody talking while I'm talking, so shut the fuck up. My name <laughs> is Uncle Rucker, and I will be nigger sitting you two until your grandfather retires. Your granddaddy picked me because I am a licensed zoologist. I have studied a variety of wild animals, and the African male is by far the most savagely cunning. This is an opportunity to observe you niggas in your natural habitat and collect data. But be warned, whatever <laughs> nigger trickery you got up your sleeves does not affect me. Now, it's been a while since I've watched some boondocks. I'm talking about a while. And I remember Uncle Ruckus being a savage. Don't get it twisted. Uncle Ruckus is a savage. Been a savage. Savage. But that might be one of the hardest times I've heard him go in straight from the jump. The minute he opened the door, he out here calling Robert a coon. He going, yo, yeah, this going to be a long one. I mean, it is a long one, but this definitely going to be a long one because that's just the start. And we already coming in hot like that. Wish us luck. Let's go. I wake up at a quarter of five in the a.m. every morning. That's about 12 hours before most niggas wake up. <laughs> I am a very spiritual person. I start each day by thanking a white man for the sunrise, for the land I walk on, for the air I breathe. I also apologize for niggas, but Lord knows they ain't gonna apologize for themselves. I am not black, nor do I consider myself to be black. Many people mistake me for being Negro because they don't know that I am currently living with the heartbreak of revitiligo. Yep. That's a skin condition that's the opposite of what Michael Jackson's got. Every morning <laughs> I apply this topical ointment made of bleach and sulfur. I Yo. like to think it works. Yo. Luckily, I hadn't gotten much darker in the last few years. Ruckus, I mean, I think it's time we tell you um then again you probably ain't gonna hear i mean you might listen to what i have to say sadly because i am a white man <laughs> but ruckus you don't got free vitiligo you don't got the opposite of what michael jackson got you putting you really just ruining your skin you might kill yourself putting bleach and whatever else is in that ointment on yourself you ain't there ain't no change in that there ain't no, no, you is black, sir. I mean, I feel like deep down he does. He knows he's black, but he's just like so committed already. Like he's in too deep. He's like, I can't go back now. I have to stay in character. I have to stick with this. I have to go hard on everybody. As you can see here, I enjoy building small shrines to certain special white people Wayne? who are important in my life. This one here is dedicated to John Wayne. Great white man. <laughs> Didn't take no shit from niggas, Indians, nor Mexicans. And this one here is for George Bush the first. Loved him. Now this one here is dedicated to the most soul for soul singer to ever live. Yo, I am dead right now. That's Barry Manilow. <laughs> That's Barry Manilow. <laughs> he said Barry Manilow is the most soulful soul singer to ever live. If you don't know anything about Barry Manilow, just Google him, YouTube him, listen to like a song or two. It will make this so much more funnier. Like I just noticed, I just had to say, like even his truck is racist. Just like look at his truck. Like you could tell he bought that truck in a time where he was probably much, much happier. <laughs> Yeah, I work about 32 jobs over the course of a week. I think it's interesting I got 32 jobs and most niggas say they can't find one. <laughs> niggas. At first I was like, 32 jobs. I was like, yo, cut the cap, Uncle Ruckus. Cut, cut the cap, Russ. But then I thought about it and I was like, wait a minute, what is his job? And I remember him having different jobs all the time throughout the show. We've seen him have multiple lines of work. So actually that does that. He probably does have 32 jobs. Between me and you, your granddaddy shouldn't be too worried. Everybody knows niggas can't fight. I'm sorry? You heard me, nigga. Niggas can't fight. They don't possess the strength for character or the mental quickness to be a great fighter. That's why all the best fighters in the world have always been white men. Jack Dempsey, Rocky Marciano, Sylvester Stallone, and don't forget Ralph Macchio. You name me one great black heavyweight fighter. Name one. Go ahead. Fine. Name one. See that you can't do it. 
What, 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 what? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you wanna pull Ali out your ass? That what you think about? Muhammad Ali? Well, if that nigga so tough, then why he didn't go to Vietnam? I tell you why. Cause he was scared. That's why. Shoot. No Vietnamese ever called me nigga. I called him a nigga eight times before I had breakfast. Now what he gonna do? Hold on, I'll make it nine. Nigga! He said like the greatest white boxers of all time. My man said Sylvester Stallone and Ralph Macchio. <laughs> he said Rocky and the Karate Kid. First of all, the karate, Ralph Macchio don't look white. I don't think Ralph Macchio is white. Yeah, that's just one hot take that's not gonna stick no matter how much you try and argue it. And I think me and Mike Tyson's right hook could agree. <laughs> Snitching is more like a recreational hobby. They even have a club for snitches. It's called the Neighborhood Watch. <laughs> no snitching! Hold it right there, boy! Woodcrest Neighborhood Watch. Now where was you at 11 o'clock last night, huh? Huh? Come on now, don't lie to me, nigga. Nigga, I was in bed. No, you wasn't. I seen you with my own eye. You was robbing white people's houses, wasn't you? And oh, look at them wheels. The law say when the bicycle stop, the wheels supposed to stop. You need a special payment for wheels like that. <laughs> oh, come back here! I'm calling the police! Stop! Devil. What the? Oh, oh, BB gun. Oh, 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 oh. Somebody help! Oh, oh. Somebody, anybody, save me from these African hooligans! Oh, oh, oh Lord! Oh please, Jesus! Oh Lord! Oh, oh Lord! Why hey, have thou forsaken? Ruckus! 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 Robert, have you ever met somebody who seemed to like you, but it's only because they don't know the real you? Yeah, that's pretty much every woman I've ever dated. So you met someone, huh? Oh, yes. Yes, I did, Robert. Somebody very special. But I don't know. If, if it's all a lie, how far can it go? Well, how big is the lie? Well, uh, I'm supposed to be a white man. But I'll revit a lie, go. <laughs> you know what, Robert? You and everybody who live in your house, huh? Okay, buddy. <laughs> I'm stealing that one. Come on, man, this way. Other folks talking about save me. Wasn't nothing wrong with slavery. At least we got good food back there. Uh-huh, uh-huh. White man show sure could be your f uh, uh. Where's Gangsta Mishes? It, say that again. <laughs> I couldn't hear you over the sound of me shitting myself. Yeah. Classic. Now, I was Classic. See your black ass talk all day about how much you can't stand black folks. Ain't two of them in the history of the world that's worth a squirrel for. Oh, how much you love oh. white folks? Best thing the good Lord ever did for the planet Earth. <laughs> Ruckus, you black as ace of spades, man. I don't see the need for you to go and insult the man after a game of checkers. We've been reminiscing all day, looking in each other's eyes, acting like we like each other. Now you got to go ahead and remind me of my ailment. Ailment? That's right. You heard the vitiligo? Shoot. Well, I got re-vitiligo. Every year my skin just seemed to get blacker and darker and blacker and then more darker. Huh. It's the opposite of what Michael Jackson got. Lucky bastard. Ruckus, how could you possibly love white people so much? It's easy. Have you ever looked at them? White man just a joy to be around. They smell like lemon juice and pledge furniture cleaner. And look at them. They gave us discipline, jobs, put structure in our lives, took us out the jungle. And what we do to show our appreciation? We march up and down the street. We vote, carry on, in grace. Well, how about this? Game. <laughs> See, like at the end of that scene, how he was saying we and us and not I and me or you and your. Like, if you ask me, like that scene right there in the end, that was him admitting like, yeah, he knows he's black, but 
I love the white man and I want to be white. He's, what would you call it? I could get this wrong. I don't really talk about this stuff that much, but there is a, I, I think that, isn't he like tra transracial? <laughs> I think that's a thing. Uh, I, I think I remember this scene from the show Atlanta. It was like from some kind of show or something, but I'm gonna play a clip right here right now so y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm a 35 year old white man. Harrison, born Antoine Smalls, has transracial identity, identifying as Harrison Booth, a 35 year old white man from Colorado. And when did you know that you were a 35 year old white man? Well, I've always felt different. Uh, I go to the store, the movies, and just be thinking to myself, like, why am I not getting the respect I deserve? And then it just hit me. I'm white and 35. You cannot tell me that that is not Uncle Ruckus. This thing you should know about me is that I have a case of the revitiligo. It's the opposite of what Michael Jackson got. No, see, I I'm not that kind of doctor. I'm more of a scientist or a technician. We can trace genetic markers to different regions of the world and know exactly what your makeup is. Well, don't let this here out of shell fool you. I'm as white as they come. My favorite movies are Gone with the Wind and Nodding Hill. <laughs> well, la de da de do. Look like we got us the winner of the lucky nigga of the year award. Ah, they must think the sun shine out your ass. Mr. Wunsell has been very nice. Yes. They must thank you, Sidney fucking Pody. Eh? Well, I've been working for Mr. Wunsell for 20 years. I ain't never got invited to the party. Shoot, he don't even let me use the front door. But you wouldn't know about that now, would you, Mr. Tibb? Oh, yeah. They must think your shit smell like spring daisies and salem. <laughs> Oh, Darkass, that's what the hell is going on here. Ruckus? Oh, no. This little big-haired nigga hates Obama. And I say, good for him. Leave this little boy alone. He's telling the truth. Yeah, Barack yeah, Obama is an evil yeah. man. Hey, everybody, hey, just hey, come hey. down. <laughs> you hate us. You say, yes, we can. We say, no, you can't, nigga. Oh, hell no. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Excuse me, out of the way, Kuta Kente. Yes, sir. Uh, Excuse me. <laughs> he called him Kuta. Oh, Lord, how much it? Security, security. We got a cold black. Cold black at the main gate. Ruckus, what the hell is a cold black? There are some hungry looking niggas at the front gate. What y'all doing here? Deliveries are in the back. <laughs> I'm dead. Big lips can't pronounce. Doctors say they can't operate. But praise be the white God and his son, White Jesus. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Ruckus. You're not contagious, are you? Just contagious with the Holy Spirit of our Caucasian Savior. I'm on a mission from God. And let me share his word with you. Come, child of God. Come. <laughs> Really? Oh, yeah. It was in 1957, back in Tennessee. Now, the defendant was accused of shooting three little white women with a Winchester rifle from about 50 yards away. See, now, he thought he was going to get off with that old I'm blind excuse. But, oh, boy, he had another thing coming. Yo. The jury will now go off and deliberate on... Guilty! That nigga is guilty! <laughs> Sir, settle down. You have to go deliberate. I don't need to deliberate. Hang that nigga now. I got the rope right here. So <laughs> Attention, please. Attention, please. Uh, My name is Uncle Ruckus. No relation. <laughs> I want to sing y'all a brand new song I just wrote. Oh, oh, shit. Don't trust them new niggas over there. And if you didn't know, it's not official. But for us, this song has won Diamond. When Uncle Ruckus dropped this one right here, I don't know how many times I heard everybody singing this song. Now back to the soothing sounds of Uncle Ruckus. Sing along if you know the words. <laughs> don't trust them new niggas over there. Leaving they nigger essence in the air. <laughs> Them happy, nappy head niggers with the fingers on the trigger. Don't trust them new niggers over there. Don't trust them big nostrils over yonder. 
to suck up so much air, it'll make you wonder. Don't trust them new niggas with their spotty little nigga figures. Don't trust them new niggas over there. I think the N word is okay as long as they say it. <laughs> And so, brothers and sisters, you know I... Hey, shut the hell up, you black son bitch! What's wrong with y'all? Thank God for the white man's Yo. infinite mercy, Martin no. Luther King! Cause if it was up to me, I'd unleash the hound and turn y'all niggas into puppy child! I was happy at the back of the bus! First of all, to cut off Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. like that, he just came out there and said, Hey, why don't you shut the f up? <laughs> and then his attempt to discus throw, discus throw this brick to completely miss and have the whole SpongeBob moment. Ow, oh, my eye. I'm pretty sure throughout history, you can find a picture of Ruckus, kind of like a Where's Waldo thing, but he's out of place. <laughs> like you see the water hose and the police dogs, but he's on the other side of it. I'm trying to say, my good man, that's Uncle Roku. It's French. I'm part French and Cherokee Indian. We're just a splish splash Irish. I'm <laughs> just more proof the white man made a tragic misjudgment when he made it legal to teach niggas to read and write. Paint faster. Oh, what? 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 You call that art? Huh? Ain't no nigga ever been good at drawing. If Michelangelo had been black, Jesus would look like George Jefferson. Keep painting. Well, let me just say this him. If it's one thing that a colored man is good at, it's cooking a pig. There you have it. That ain't to say a Yo. white man couldn't cook a pig better. Yo. His big brain just focus on more important things, like running the world and spaceships. <laughs> Uh, including the African Americans. Just don't stay too long, darkies. <laughs> Son. Just kidding. Not Son. Really. You see, the blackness in our skin represents sin, oh. which is why God wants us to hate the black inner. That's interesting. Yeah. The owner said something racial. I don't know. Oh, hold on. I know what he said. He said, and I quote, I don't want no big nigga lips drinking my fine wine. And I applaud him for putting conviction over profit. What? Oh, white man. He can't have nothing nice for himself no more. Polo, niggas got to that. Timberland, niggas got to that too. Mercedes, Versace, white women. Niggas, niggas, niggas. <laughs> okay, if anyone, if anyone has reverse vitiligo and is actually white, then it's Tom Dubois. And then also, yes, Ruckus is racist. We know this, but then there's times where it's like, Sir, what did you just say? There's times where it's almost too much and you're just like, holy sh**. And then they be acting like he don't even say that granddad just be having that look on his face the entire time. But I'm like, yo, he is going, like he is beyond roasting you right now. He is incinerating you. He is eviscerating you. And in the worst possible way imaginable, he is just absolutely dogging you the f Ow. If Uncle Ruckus was a real person, he'd have been got popped. Let's just keep it real. No, I don't think we should use the word, and I'll tell you why. Because niggas have gotten used to it, that's why. Hell, they like it now. It's like when you grow in crops and you strip the soil of its nutrients and goodness, and then you can't grow nothing. You gotta rotate your race of slurs. Now, I know it's hard, cause niggas just rolled off the tongue the way sweat rolls off a nigga's <laughs> forehead. But what? we cannot let that be a crutch, especially when there are so many other fine substitutes. Spade, porch monkey, jigaboo. I say next time you gonna call a dark a nigga, call that coon a jungle bunny instead. Oh, Ruckus. Oh. Yeah, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, stick around, watch some more videos because Ruckus is definitely gonna make it hard for your boy. <laughs> Cause you didn't literally have to name off every single alternative. Time a black baby is born, I'd give him a plasma TV and one channel, BET. Slap it right on the ceiling over the crib. By the time that nigga's 12, he'll be watching it in jail. Ha ha ha! BT forever! BT! Boom by y'all! BT! Boom by y'all! That's the kind of language they understand. Out the street.
Sorry. That's it. Go back. Sorry, Nara, you sorry niggas. White man brought in the whole Gulf of Mexico to wash y'all niggas away, but go on back. You niggas ain't too good at taking a hint now, are you? Go on. Save New Orleans. What they got down there worth saving? What, jazz? Jazz music? I hate jazz music. Sound like a long car accident involving some cats. Hey, y'all seen that movie, When the Levees Broke? I got a documentary called When the Levees Gonna Break Again. <laughs> Now, one of the great pleasures of my day is taking all these pretty little white children to school in the morning. Hey, now, Mr. Move Billy, away, good morning. Boy. I keep the bus nice and clean for them. These kids, oh, excuse me, excuse me. Oh, hello there, Miss Madison. How is my little sunshine? Whoa, 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 hold it right there. Hey, Where's Miss the gun, me. huh? Where's the gun? Go on, get, get, get out of here. Go do your little hyphy, fify dances and nigga monkey shuffle somewhere else. This here bus is for kids with a future. That's right, that's right. Get your lazy ass to some exercise. Y'all should just go be rappers. Get into a beef and then shoot each other. <laughs> Yo. Here it is. My Yo. test results. Can you hear my heart beating? Oh, the white man science is amazing, ain't it? He gonna be black. Yep. Oh, no. The, this this, can't, this be. can't be. It says Damn I'm 102% no. African. With a 2% margin of error. <laughs> why, Lord? Why, Lord? Why? <laughs> it said he was 102% African with a 2% margin of error, which means he would still be 100% African. <laughs> oh, they need to bring this show back. They really do. I know it was in the works. Granddad died. John Winterspoon, RIP, the guy that voiced Granddad. Yeah, he died. It was going to be on HBO. I, knew, I know it was in the works. I'm pretty sure I remember seeing like character designs and different drawings and the animation was going to be different and stuff but let me know down in the comments do you want to bring the boondocks back do you think that they could do at least one more season let me know down below segregation ruined the american school system when did test scores across the country drop after desegregation when did drug use and violence in schools go up after desegregation there was never no white kids shooting up nothing before they started going to school with niggas these little angels wouldn't even know what a gun was the white man is a peace lover. People say the key to fixing the problems of Negroes is education. But I say education is not the answer. Why bother? And what do niggas do in college anyway? Oh, they go there. They party. Get drunk for four, five years and end up just as ignorant as when they came in. Well, I'm black now. So the first thing I did was quit all my jobs. Yo! <sighs> I don't know how I'm supposed to pay the bills. Probably have to start selling crack. Or rapping. Or rapping about selling crack. <laughs> you know, I might not even have revitiligo. <sighs> okay, I'm black. What am I supposed to do now? <laughs> so this is it, huh? Is this what you do all day? Sit there reading books that make you think better of yourself, huh? Black man can't get nowhere with his little pecan-sized mind. So now you can read. Now what? What you gonna do now? Oh, uh-huh. <laughs> Nothing. That's what I thought. You know why? Because we niggas. Both of us. And that's... And that's all we ever gonna be. That's all we ever gonna be. So this is what I have to look forward to as a black man, huh? Just sitting around playing PlayStation all day, Ooh. waiting for the next Madden to come out. Maybe I should go out and put rims and all kinds of goofy shit on my truck. But well, this is what <laughs> niggas do, right? Buy sneakers. Then maybe lady will buy loud stereos and B-rate women and rap lyrics. Is this the kind of shit you niggas put on your feet nowadays? This looks like a damn astronaut shoot. I'm black. I'm not walking to the moon. I'm walking to the liquor store. Ruckus, stop. Come on, man. LeBron James, Allen Iverson. Can I get a shoe named after a white man, please? Excuse me. Uh, Dark in the zebra shirt. Can I get a Bruce Jenner sneaker? Turn there I didn't know about. He messed up your test. Here are your actual results. Well, I'll be. Let's see what class of Hallelujah! Hallelujah! How dare you mistakenly inform a man of his blackness? You should be ashamed to call yourself a white doctor. <laughs> I'm, uh, sorry. See, Ruckus, you were worried about nothing. Well, Wedgie, I must say, for a darkie, you are not that difficult to hang around.
is the socialist Muslim Antichrist. This is Uncle Ruckus. He's an Uncle Tom. Perhaps the biggest Uncle Tom to have ever lived. The BBC that this nigga gets elected, America is over. Over. You want this nigga to shit in the same place William Taft shot and his big wife. She don't need to be in the White House. She should be in the WNBA shooting foul shots. Oh, Lord, how much it. He gone. He gone. Jesus, you after my prayer. I'm tickled as a coon on inauguration day. Send my condolences to his family. But fortunately, we found a completely fair and impartial replacement. Hey now, Chairman Mao, Feng Shui Ta Ta Tong Tai. Open up your eyes and let's play some Jack Baseball. I hope this letter finds you in good health and spirits. My name is Uncle Ruckus, no relation. And I am first and foremost a lover of beautiful music. I proudly play your music while at work at one of my many, many jobs. It always elicits a response. Shut up, that bullshit! You fat racist <laughs> What's going on here? What's going on over there? Oh, just two niggas killing each other. Proceed. <laughs> all right, all right. My name is Uncle Ruckus, volunteer corrections officer. Next stop, Willie really Harden Maximum Security Prison. Now you white chillin' be prepared. This is gonna be like a trip to the zoo. But do not worry, your Uncle Ruckus will protect you. And as for you Negroes, well, this just gonna be like a trip to the future. So it should be exciting for everybody. Come on aboard! Nigga, what you want? I want you over my house, <laughs> cutting my grass like you supposed to be. Well, too bad for you, cause I just took another job. And even though they don't pay hardly nothing, working for white folks look way better on my resume. Damn it, this is the fourth week in a row you cancel on me. The yard looks like a jungle. Well, Tim Chim, you three vine swingers should feel right at home. I'll be there when the white man don't need me no more. And let this be yet another reminder that no matter how much money you got, you still just a nigga. <laughs> you want my brick? You gonna have to pry it from my this cold is... dead hand, Mr. Obama Hussein. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> Maybe. Look, you want gas or not? We're looking for a man. Oh, yeah, I bet you are. You looking for the number man, or the weed man, or the welfare man. The no, the man I'm looking for is named Freeman. Robert Freeman. Oh, hell no. I knew it. You related to Robert Freeman. <laughs> so you know him. Yeah, I know him. But Woodcrest don't need no more colors. We got our color quota filled. So y'all can just get to stepping and get in that piece of car, turn it around and head it back up the road, crusty the coon. That president now. Ha! Good luck. Baboon Bomber being here soon, too. Hey, hey, hey. You ain't too fat and ugly to get raped. I apologize for my outburst. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I thought you'd be dancing on your tail with the rest of the Sakers champs. Look at them. Just as happy as a pig and <laughs> Can't they see? Can't they see what this <laughs> nigga's gonna do to our great country? Looks like we the only two people with sense in this whole room. Just you and me. Just you and me. Brother, shut up and get back to work and grab some more champagne. See? Niggas already getting up at it. <laughs> Fire across your lip, you big black dummy. Yeah, start talking, you one-eyed, fish-eyed fool. Hey, we ain't got all night, buffalo butt. I ain't scared of y'all, the crapper Negroes. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to see what the white man gonna do to you. Just try. <laughs> the Exorcist. The Recorcist. May what?
the nigga. The nigga will lie. The nigga will make excuses. He will use words he don't really know. If he gets really desperate, he may start to rap or dance. You all are testifying. Oh, the funny part is, you know, Uncle Ruckus is just looking for a reason to beat this man. It's probably not even part of the ritual. He just said, I got something I got to do right quick. Man, go ahead and drop those reaction requests down in the comments. Can be anything Boondocks related at all. It does not matter. But if you want to see me react to something specific, you can go ahead and drop that too. Because like I always say, I want this to be a we thing and not a me thing. You feel me? Because without y'all, I'm just staring at a screen talking to myself make sure you go subscribe to the second channel the win the g v2 win the g version 2 channel the link to that is down in the description i'm gonna start posting daily over there just like i am over here so there's a bunch of videos over there you have not seen if you don't know about the channel go over there check it out subscribe it's almost like you get like a little bonus video every day it's your boy win the g and i'm out y'all hey bros what's going on this is cut my bar. be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because subscribing makes you feel good